Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. My name is Sarah, also known as Laugh Love Langella, and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys three different ways you can style your dining table for Thanksgiving. I'm keeping them all lower profile. It's especially important during Thanksgiving since a lot of us are going to be hosting and we want to be able to have conversations with our loved ones and friends. So I'm making sure no one's faces are going to be blocked. If you are still in the full fall spirit, I have my first one is perfect for you. And then the other two are going to be more of a transitional one if you've started Christmas decorating as I have myself. But I sure hope you guys enjoy and let's get right into it. Just wanted to say happy Veterans Day and a big thank you to the men and women who have and continue to serve our country. We can't thank you guys enough for your service and it is very greatly appreciated each and every day. I'm going to start off today using this beautiful knit table runner. I had gotten this from Sky's shop house and home when it was open. It's a really great piece, especially for the cozy months and it is so neutral. So it just matches everything that I style with it. I'm also going to be adding this cake stand that I use as a riser from Kirkland's. Now the first table styling idea is going to be geared really towards fall. I'm using some faux rust eucalyptus stems as well as some of the orange and green preserved ones. I had gotten those from Hobby Lobby as well as World Market over the years and they're just a really great way of bringing in a pop of color while also keeping the styling super simplistic you could apply the same layering in a dough bowl if you would prefer that type of elevated look but i wanted to give a different type of centered arrangement style now on the riser i'm going to be adding this beautiful light brown glass pumpkin as well as the dark brown one. These were from Target's fall line this year. And we're also going to be adding in this super fun pinecone LED candle that I picked up at Home Goods. When it comes to my chargers and plates, I like to keep things super simple and neutral so that way I don't need to go out spending a ton of money on tableware each season and can instead focus on smaller parts to change the overall look like my napkins, my napkin rings and focus on the center arrangements to really push the tablescape in one type of seasonal direction. And here is a finished look at our first table styling idea. Now we're going to move on to our second styling idea and this one is going to be a combination of the ones I shared last year. I like how much texture and lots of organic elements I had in it. I'm going to be using my Norfolk garland but first we're going to start off with the purple stems from A Floral as well as some twig stems from Michaels layering the garland on top and just pulling those other branches through the top of it to give it more fullness as well as some visual interest having the purple contrasting with the green but bringing lots of texture in with the twigs. Thank you. 
And now I'm going to continue to layer the stems underneath the garland, pulling them through and fluffing it all up. Now I'm going to be adding these wood look acorns that I got from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. They are part of their fall line. You might be lucky enough to still get your hands on them. And then I'm going to add some of these gold candle holders that I had gotten from House and Home as well a few years ago. I finally picked up some LED candles on Amazon about a month ago now. It just makes it so much easier. You don't need to worry about candles falling over, wax dripping, flames, all the stuff and things. And they come with a remote control, which is really great. So I will have those linked in the video description. Now to bring in more organic elements and texture, I'm going to be adding some pine cones in as well as these pumpkins that I used in my wreath DIY for fall. And here is a finished look at our second styling idea. So now we are going to be moving on to our third and final styling idea today. If you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And at the end, be sure to leave me a comment down below with which one your favorite was. So for our final styling today, I'm going to be incorporating my Norfolk garland again. I'm looking to do something that's more transitional as well. And when I'm layering two garlands together, specifically on a table, I like to actually twist them around each other. It creates more fullness and it also gives more adequate coverage, especially on the ends. Now I'm going to be incorporating those same gold candle holders that I had used earlier, but also adding in a couple of my pinecone ones. You could also go thrifting or antiquing for some brass candle holders. It's such a simple way of making a statement on a tablescape. Now I'm going to be incorporating these beautiful rust magnolia stems. These are older from Target and I want to really bring that transitional leaves changing look inside and have it weaving in and out of the garland. And lastly, I'm going to be incorporating more of the dried eucalyptus stems that I used in the first styling idea. I think it just brings in another texture, another leaf shape, and just gives it a more organic transitional look. And one last element, I'm going to add this pine pick. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's a really great way of bringing more life into your greenery and it gives it a very realistic look, only adding a few of them.
Now I was planning on using those same LED candles that I did in the second styling idea, but as I was putting all the batteries in, I was one battery short and it was really gonna bother me if one candle was not lit. So I opted to just add some real ones and give it that beautiful ambiance of a lit candle. And here is a finished look at our third and final styling idea. So that is going to wrap up today's video, friends. I sure hope that you enjoyed and got some good decorating ideas and inspiration. Be sure to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one your favorite was. I did do this video last year as well, sharing two other styles. So if you would like to see even more ideas, I will have that video linked down below for you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel today and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.